Hi, my name is Belinda and welcome to Belinda's Bobbles. This is a special episode where I am taking you on my journey and this is my first time trying this of dyeing yarn. I've decided to try the crock pot method. This was something that was um, shown to me, wow, probably back in 2018 by Ashley with Dye to Spin. She's no longer dying, but she was doing some live dyes on Facebook in 2018, 2019, around in that time uh, here in the area. And I really enjoyed those live dyes and looked forward to them. She had used the crock pot method with her um, yarn dyeing business and it always intrigued me. So when I decided to go ahead and give this a try, I went to a Goodwill I got this old rival crock pot. It's just, you know, one that has low and high, doesn't even have warm on it. But I got it for $6. Not sure of the size, but it looked like it would be big enough for at least one skein and possibly two skeins of yarn to be able to dye them at a time. This will never be used for food purposes um, after this point, along with any of the utensils that I have here because I am going to be working with jacquard acid dye that I got for Christmas specifically to try this. I am also using Nomad eggshell. This is a 70-30 merino and nylon uh, sock weight yarn made in Peru 400 meters or 437 yards per 100 gram. So that's what I am starting with. The kit that I have came with citric acid, which I put over into a jar, as well as a acid dye coloring mix chart, and four colors. Came with jet black, hot fuchsia, turquoise and sun yellow as well as having gloves on and old clothes whenever I have the um, dye powder open I also have a 3M mask I'm going to be using as well as my inhaler <laughs> Using that mask, I will need the inhaler afterwards. The method that I decided to try, because I want to do a tonal. Um, so I am trying a method that I saw dis uh, shown online by 100,000 stitches. So this is not anything that I've come up with. This is me following tutorials and doing some research before deciding to go this route. So what I've done so far is I've put luke, lukewarm water because I did um, something that has been stressed to me over and over is you want to keep your uh, water temperature fairly constant um, and do slow buildups so as not to cause any shock to your yarn even though it's super wash. So I have one skein in here. I'll put a picture up here as to what it looked like when I put it into the bath. It has been soaking for about two and a half, three hours, and I have one tablespoon of citric acid in the water. So here we go. I'm just going to scoop it out. It's just water and do a gentle squeeze. I'm going to use the same water. I figure there's no use wasting water. And I've got this twisted into a skein. And the reason for that is when I put it back into the dye bath, I'm wanting it to hit only in certain places. I'm wanting there to be some white spots because I'm going to do a second dye on it after the first one goes through. 
Okay, so we just have some water here. Might have a little bit of debris in it, but it's not bad. And so now we're going to mask up and put some color together. I am going for a blue, even though I've been told blues are fairly difficult. Uh, if you are um, a subscriber, you may have seen where I put a poll out this week asking which color I sh um, family I should try to start with, and the blues won. Our granddaughter Allie should be very happy that the blues won because that was what she wanted too. Okay. I hate these masks, but I know it's necessary. Okay, bear with me. I'm expecting to be muffled. If it gets too bad, I'll take the sound out and um, just go over top of it. So, I am wanting to do kind of a turquoise, but a little bit darker. A blue teal is what I'm going for. And it says one part jet black, seven parts turquoise. So, okay, so when you open it up, just so you know, there's no little screen or anything over top of it, so you definitely want to be careful with it. Ah, well, the black had nothing over top, but the blue does. That's interesting. And I opened this fresh out of the um, box just a little while ago. Okay. Just trying to be careful with all of this. And I am going to cover my yarn up right now, right here, just so I don't end up accidentally having speckles. So I am going to try starting out with one teaspoon. I don't even need that much, probably. Let's start out with half a teaspoon. My understanding is a little bit goes a long way. Ah. I probably need to get some smaller ones. Okay. So here's what I'm starting out with. Ta da! Okay. some in the lid there and it is just moving around in there I'm going to show you in just a moment but I want to put just a tiny amount I do mean a tiny amount of black to deepen it up. Okay, so this is going to be our starting point. I'm trying to figure out how to bring you over. May or may not be possible. Okay. So I'm already seeing quite a bit of color in here. <laughs> I may have overdone it. 
No. Oh, can you see that? Okay, I've got it all over my hands. But I think I want to go a little darker. This is just an old throwaway type towel, so I'm not worried about getting color on it or anything. So I do want to try putting in just a tad bit more. So I'm going to use the other side here. And I do mean just a tad bit more. Because again, this is just the first color, but I want it to be fairly deep. Let's move that around in there. Get it good and dissolved. And you can kind of see, just from my hands, this is very turquoise. Okay, so let's do a paper towel. <laughs> okay, let's clean off my hands with some of this dye before trying to do the paper towel test. So we can actually see what's in the pot. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Should be able to see that there. Get it away from the green wall. Okay, so. Since this is liquid now, this is all liquid. I'm going to get some fresh gloves and I can take off this mask. Okay. So it's just while the powder is open or the powder is moving around before it is dissolved that I have been told that I need to have the mask on. So we're going with that. So let me get some fresh gloves. I'm trying not to have blue hands for work because I have to work tomorrow. Okay, I am hoping to give you a good view of the yarn going in. I have about two ties on here and then I have one zip tie to be able to kind of control it with a little bit. Are you ready? Let's see what happens. Can you see that? And there we go. Sorry if I'm making you a little dizzy. It's just taking it right in. And I'm wanting to poke it down a little bit. Because I don't want any of it above the water. Even though I do have it tied strategically. Okay. All right, so now it's time to turn it on high and put the lid on and sit you back down okay so i'm going to let this cook for about an hour and then we're going to come back take a look see if it's exhausted enough or if it's going to take longer with the crock pot method, I can let it stay in here for quite a while. I, uh, there's plenty of water in there, so I'm not having to worry about it scorching or anything. So if it takes longer than an hour, that's okay. But we'll come back and see what happens.
Okay, so I'm afraid you guys have just missed a step because I thought it was recording and it wasn't. <laughs> okay, so what I did was about an hour and a half ago, I came up here and I realized I did not add any extra citric acid to the bath other than what was in there for the original soak. So I added two tablespoons of citric acid. Here, might as well, might as well take this mask off. I've already done that part. Then I'll put a picture in here of what it looked like. I think I've got that video though of whenever I opened it up. Okay, so it's been about two hours. Let's check the water. It's a little bit of color left in there, but not much. It's pretty much been exhausted. So my next step is I want to separate the yarn out and do another layer. hot so that's why I am <laughs> trying to be careful here ow, ow, ow. ouch okay so as you can see I have some different shades in here and this is actually a bright to dark turquoise. I can't tell if it's going to show that way on the camera or not. And then there's some area of white in here. So. Just going to swirl it in here. Still keeping it pretty well submerged. And then I took turquoise and some of the sun yellow, just a tiny bit of the sun yellow. And I added those together with some of the water from in here in just a glass container. And I've made this one, it's a little bit more green. And I just poured it in on one side and then on the other. It's all ready. Okay, this was what I just did a few minutes ago. And this is where it's at now. It's already, since it was hot, it's already starting to exhaust. This is not going to take very long at all. I have it down on low and I'm going to leave it like that for an hour, maybe a little less. It's not bubbling, but I can see steam on the top layer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and test it. Wow, yeah, it's already starting to exhaust quite a bit. And okay, I'm just making sure that I have the tie right here. I'm making sure that it doesn't make a stripe. Okay, so I'm going to seal this up. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. 
I just turned the crock pot off. And let's take a look. I need to put another glove on. <laughs> it's looking pretty clear from here. That's pretty clear. There's a tiny bit of blue in there. <laughs> Not any over there. So I just want to take a look. There's a little bit of white in there. But it's more of a touch of light blue. So this is now ready for the lid to be off. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. And for it to cool down. Once it's fully cooled, I'm going to rinse it probably a couple of times, rinse it with a little bit of soak or leave it in soak for probably about 20 minutes uh, and then hang it up to dry. And then I will come back maybe tomorrow or the next day, but I'll come back and show you the finished skein. Oh, I'm loving this. I can't wait to see how it looks all together. Thank you for joining me on this adventure and I'll be back. So is it going to soak up all of that too? There is not any color left in there. The water is actually clear. But I wanted to show it in a more natural light. See? <laughs> and now it's just going to cool off. So it will be ready to uh, rinse. What do you think? I think you should have used yellow and orange. <laughs> Maybe next time. Okay.